Um, my name is Emily Bowie and I'm representing today uh, the San Juan Citizens Alliance, which is a citizens group um, with a thousand local members uh, whose mission is to protect the air, land and water in the San Juan, uh, San Juan Basin, which is um, in southwest Colorado and northwest New Mexico. My community lives underneath the highest concentration of methane pollution in the country. Um, it's called the Four Corners Methane Hotspot. Um, and we're going to be directly affected if the EPA delays their uh, methane regulations. Um, I live in Durango, Colorado, at the northernmost po point of the uh, basin. And there's 15 wells within a half mile of my house. Um, the basin itself hosts over 30,000 gas wells, and 90% of them are in New Mexico. Um, and in 2014, um, we were told that an additional 3,650 sites um, had the potential to be drilled on the New Mexico side of the basin. Um, and the methane hotspot was discovered in October of 2014, and in August of 2016, NASA uh, released a study that showed that um, natural gas production is um, the main cause of the, of the hotspot. And uh, industry disputed that, saying that the hotspot was caused naturally by methane seepage through coal seams. Um, but this past April, um, NOAA published a study that said that while natural seepage does occur, it's only a small percentage of what's causing the hotspot. So it's a fact that the Four Corners methane hotspot is a result of oil and gas um, production in the San Juan Basin. So this methane waste leads to lost royalties um, for my community and, um, and being the country's hotspot um, really affects our regional economy because we rely really heavily on outdoor recreation um, and tourism and bad air means um, bad outdoor rec. So, but mo most importantly for me at least, this pollution is endangering the health of my community. Um, alongside methane waste, there's in natural gas, there's um, chemicals called volatile organic compounds many of which are known to be carcinogenic or um, respiratory irritants. Um, and one 2014 study of oil and gas sites found that levels of eight VOCs exceeded federal guidelines under several operational circumstances at oil and, uh, oil and gas well sites, um, with benzene, formaldehyde, and hydrogen sulfide as the most common offenders. Um, VOCs also react with nitrogen oxides from the two coal plants that we have in our region, and they make, it makes uh, ground level ozone, which is really bad um, for your, the health of your lungs. Um, it can impair lung function, trigger asthma attacks, aggravate lung diseases, and contribute to cardiovascular disease. Um, and in Colorado, in the county where I live, we received a D from the American Lung Association for ozone pollution this year. Um, so children are at the greatest risk from this pollution because they tend to spend active time outdoors and their lungs are still developing. Um, and when announcing this rule, the thing that really irritates me is that the EPA actually acknowledged that this action may have a disproportionate effect on children. So they're talking about the children in my neighborhood, the children of my friends, um, and we disagree that two years of harm to our children is worth whatever inconvenience it will be for the oil and gas industry um, to delay these rules. So one argument that I often hear, which maybe you've heard before, is that methane pollution is a state's rights issue. Colorado has, a, has its own methane rule, um, and it's been a huge success. Uh, leakage rates have dropped by 75%, and seven of the 10 producers in our, uh, seven of 10 producers that were um, asked in our state agreed that the benefits of the saved natural gas outweighed the cost of the rule, because when they limit methane waste, they actually get to keep more natural gas, and then they get to sell it, and so they make profits off of it. And so it's proven that these kind of regulations are cost effective and they work. But um, the problem is that where I live in Durango, we're just north of uh, New Mexico. And as I said before, 90% of our wells are in New Mexico and New Mexico doesn't have a state rule. So the Colorado rule is not enough at all to help my community to help reduce the methane hotspot. Um, and uh, this common sense rule was designed after years of research and negotiations, the EPA has been working on this rule for a very long time, and they're, they've been working on it because communities like mine are experiencing impacts. And so um, it is just ridiculous that the EPA would all of a sudden throw all of that work and all of that research and all of that um, accountability out and say that this rule is now not necessary. What's changed? Why, 
what made them change their mind? What has changed in the last six months? Um, so I think that's an important question that we need to think about. Um, and the idea that the EPA would turn a blind truth to all of this research that they've done and then willingly put people in my community at risk unnecessarily is unacceptable. Um, so if you haven't already, you can submit written comments. We did oral comments today, but please submit written comments online. You have until August 9th.